Hey, and welcome to Vid Society. In this video, we're gonna be talking about keyword research and a new tool that I found that's amazing for finding keywords that are long tail and don't have much competition that you can use for creating videos and ranking in YouTube or Google or even for your WordPress website. And as always, I'll put all the links below this video to all the tools and resources that I mentioned throughout the video. Now, keyword research tools can be very expensive, some of them costing hundreds of dollars a year, some over a thousand dollars a year, while others may even cost a hundred dollars or more per month. For example, let's go to Google and just type in keyword research tool. Let's scroll down and you'll see a product here called Keyword Tool IO. Let's go here. It says you can search for free, so let's try it out. Now, if you go here, this tool looks great and you can come in here and type in a keyword. Let's just type in keyword research. Say, great, we're gonna get all kinds of data here cause it's free. Oh, wait, okay, so they're only gonna actually show us five results here and then we have to subscribe. Okay, well, let's see how much it costs to subscribe. So we jump over here, get Keyword Tool Pro, and if you wanna do the annual billing, which saves you 20%, you could subscribe for a minimum of $69 a month. You decide to do billing, $89 per month. You're looking at $1,000 a year to use this keyword tool to find keywords, to find out search competition data, or even cost per click information. What if I told you there's another tool out there that gives you unlimited access and use for a one-time fee of $69 that gives you the same information? That's what I'm gonna be talking to you about in this video. Now, this tool is called Insta Keywords. You can find it at going to instakeywords.net to learn more about it and watch more information, but I wanna take you inside of it and show you how it works. So this is Insta Keywords. Now, this is a very simple tool to use, but it's very powerful. You have three tabs up here, one that'll search Google, one that'll search YouTube, and one that'll also give you questions that people are asking about your search term, which is very powerful when you create videos. So let's say we're working on a new video or a new website post about weight loss, and we wanna try to find a keyword to use that we can target to promote maybe a specific affiliate program, maybe a, a weight loss product or a course found on ClickBank. Well, the first thing you wanna do is enter your keyword. You can also choose your language here and your country, but I want the global data, so I'm just gonna put in global, and we're gonna click on Generate Suggestions. Now, in just a few seconds, we have a list of keywords along with their estimated search volume and how competitive the keyword is. Now, I have used a lot of keyword tools, and this one here, their competition algorithm that they use to determine what is hard and what isn't is actually one of the best that I've seen so far. You can also click on trends to get a better idea of the search trends for this keyword. And then you have two other tools over here that will actually allow you to turn this one keyword into an AI video or into an AI article blog post over a thousand words. Now these two tools are completely optional. You do not have to have these to use the keyword tool, but they are available if you want to add them on to be able to create those videos or articles. And this even includes a WordPress plugin that will allow you to turn your WordPress posts into videos when you publish them. And this ultimately allows you to get indexed faster and to rank better. So coming back over here to the keywords, the first one we have is weight loss. Now, naturally, let's be real guys, you're not gonna rank for the term weight loss. And if we come over here, you can see that they're even telling you to avoid this keyword cause you're not gonna rank for it. But if we scroll on down, we can actually load more results and we can keep doing this over and over and over. Remember, this is unlimited use. So let's go ahead and we'll click load results again and see what kind of keywords we get now. Okay, so as we scroll down through here, you can see that this search term here, weight loss breakfast, has an estimated of about 22,200 searches. And then this one, weight loss before and after, these are normally photo related type keyword searches, 49,500. Let's say I wanna promote a weight loss course on meals. And in these meals, they also have breakfast meals. So I'm gonna target weight loss breakfast but this one's hard to rank for it's saying, which it would be. So let's click this plus sign and maybe it'll give us some sub keywords of this keyword that's easier to rank for. Now we're getting somewhere where we got a list of keywords we can use to create multiple videos with. So let's look at this, best weight loss breakfast. 
Now this one, even though it says fair, I think this term would probably be a little bit competitive. It does have over 18,000 searches though. But if we scroll on down, we can see one here for healthy weight loss breakfast recipes that has a decent amount of searches and there's minimal competition for it. So this would be a great keyword we could use to target for our next YouTube video or even website post or article we make. Now we can see another one down here that gets twice as many searches with high protein weight loss breakfast. And this one also is in the green range, which means we're more likely to rank for it. But this one has quite a few searches, so let's dig down into it just a little bit deeper. Now this is where you're gonna find the gold mine. This is where you're gonna find keywords that you can rank for a lot easier with newer websites, newer YouTube channels, yet you're going to be getting enough traffic to them where you can start generating sales as an affiliate marketer. So for example, look at this one, high protein breakfast Indian for weight loss, 548 estimated searches a month. Now, if you're not familiar with search volume and if you've never done much with it to monitor it or use Google ads, then this number can vary big time. So this month, maybe this gets 548 searches. Maybe next month it gets 200 searches. The month after that, it may get 10,000 searches. So this is just an estimation, but we can see here that it does get search volume and that's what we want. And we can also see it's great for attempting to rank. We see another one here, high protein vegan breakfast for weight loss. So we can make a video or a post on this one. We're going to get searches to it. And this here is actually one of the biggest secrets to affiliate marketing that people overlook because they want to target those keywords that has 20,000, 50,000, 100,000 searches a month. But the problem is they end up never getting ranked for those keywords. Therefore, they never get traffic. They never get sales. So they think affiliate marketing doesn't work and they give up. But what they're doing is choosing the wrong keywords to go after, especially if you have a new website or a new YouTube channel, you want to focus on these types of keywords because you will get searches from them. You will get clicks, you will get traffic, and you will eventually start making affiliate commissions from it. The more consistent you are with posting articles or posting videos on your YouTube channel, the more you're going to see these affiliate commissions coming in. Now up here, you can see there's also a tab for YouTube, and this is going to pull in the latest keyword searches on YouTube based upon the keyword you enter. But when I make my YouTube videos, lots of times I still get my data from Google searches because Google gets a lot more searches than YouTube does. And most of the time, if somebody searches something on Google, they're just as likely to search it on YouTube. Now, a really easy way to get a video ranked in YouTube is by going up here and clicking on the question section. YouTube, as well as Google, loves informational type videos where you're giving help for questions. So let's just once again say it's weight loss. We click on generate suggestions and we can see all kinds of results here of questions that people are asking related to weight loss along with their competition. Now, here's one that says, what is intermittent fasting for weight loss? Well, let's click on this. And now we can see other keywords that are longer that still get search volume. And remember what I said earlier, this may say 133, but this may get a thousand searches this month. This one down here that says zero, it may get 500 searches this month. But what I normally do is I target the ones here. I will target ones for 10 or target ones for 70, for 30. I will easily go for these all day long. And the more of these I make, the more likely I'm to get more traffic from them and more sales. Now, one more thing that I want to show you that can bring in a lot of additional income is using AdSense on your websites. So let's just say, for example, we target the word insurance and our website's all based around insurance. You come over here and look at this cost per click. You can see an estimation of what advertisers are paying every time somebody clicks on an ad, $32, $26, $34. And this can go up more and more. And there have been times when I have seen in the insurance industry, some of these keywords be upwards of $100 per click. Now, that doesn't mean if you have AdSense on your website, you're going to earn $100 if somebody clicks on it. But you may earn $40 of that or you may earn $50 of that. But for the same reason, if you look under competition, all these keywords say to avoid because there is so much competition in them from people fighting over this money that they can easily get just by people clicking on their ads.
Now with this tool, you even have the option to export your keywords and data. You can click on export CSV, or you can click this little arrow and select the ones that you want to export and then click on export data just to select those specific keywords. If you do affiliate marketing, you need some type of a tool to help you to figure out these keywords and which ones people are actually searching for and their competition so you have a better idea of whether you can even rank for these terms or not and the potential income they can bring in. If you're interested in Insta Keywords, just go to instakeywords.net. You can learn more about it there. And like I said, there are two optional upsells where you can upgrade to another tool that this developer has created to turn keywords into videos and also to turn keywords into articles. Now, if you like these types of videos where I go in and do in-depth reviews and show you how to use tools to make money online with affiliate marketing, subscribe to my channel and I'll notify you when I upload new videos. That's it for this one. Have a great day.